Hello Happy Souls, this is my new project Suzuki Max Under Dollar Revamp and these are all the chapters which I have categorized for this installation project. Now we are in chapter 6 removing the body parts. In that we are in part 1 removing the fuel tank side cover, seat and other sub assemblies. And for this you need a, a screwdriver and this mounting is connected to the uh, side oil tank and to the chassis unit. This is the third mounting and at the top there are two notches uh, mounted at the top for the side covers which is connected to the frame and after removing that uh, we can take the side oil tank and and for this uh, these are the two mountings for this you need a 10 mm spanner and the third one uh, is connected to the outer RH uh, cover which we have already removed and um, to this uh, at the top you can see uh, the toolbox is connected to this one uh, in between uh, rubber mounting will come and at the bottom uh, uh, delivery tube is there that is connected to the pump and uh, to that uh, float level is there an indicator which uh, uh, is connected to the uh, instrument cluster which shows the uh, level of the uh, side oil and uh, there is a clip uh, you have to take that and uh, unplug the hose and then moving on to the battery this is basically a 2.5 amps battery and uh, here a belt will come but uh, they have done a hack here unplug these connections and uh, take off the batteries and after doing this we can move to the other end of the side cover here uh, it is same as that of the RH side here at the bottom uh, uh, screw is mounted and at the two uh, the top uh, two mountings will be coming which is connected to the chassis unit and uh, these two mountings are in ok condition half of them were, uh, were worn out and uh, then uh, inside it has the air filter here there are two mountings one that is uh, not there and the remaining one uh, mounting is there and we have to remove that uh, with the screwdriver and another mounting main mounting is connected to the uh, carburetor unit and we can easily take off that because the clip was not uh, so clip was not present and this is a toolbox which we saw which is connected to the side oil tank at the other end and now coming to the seat and for this you need a 13 mm and a 12 mm spanner it may be in either way here if you see the boat is protruding outside it looks something weird and uh, it is better way to go uh, and hide the protruding things inside the vehicle and uh, here the construction is uh, at the front mounting is there a uh, bracket is uh, locking at the uh, front part near the tank and at the rear a uh, bracket is pitted into a uh, like a arch like structure and uh, mounted to the uh, chassis unit here and likewise we did in the LH we are doing the same to the RH side and after removing these things uh, we can easily take off the seat these are the mountings at the front one bracket and at the rear it is split into two and then uh, this is the battery box and in some vehicles I have seen like a in bracket it was given but this was like plastic mounting it was really rusted and with uh, the tools uh, I couldn't uh, uh, take off these bolts actually it locks with 10 mm bolt and uh, after many tries I just left and uh, have to take it to the uh, tinkering shop and then move to the uh, rear uh, mudguard assembly here for this uh, uh, it is locked with 10 mm, uh, 10 mm bolt at either sides it is a long connection so I, I used uh, uh, many other things uh, like uh, special tools inside the toolbox and took uh, these two 10 mm bolts at the either ends actually this is a uh, half part of the mudguard and other end is at the uh, near the swing arm assembly these all are like uh, plastic items and if you take this it will easily fall off and after removing this uh, we have to disconnect the uh, brake lines that is one is, uh, is brake line and another one is like uh, two indicators brake line is like one common line and one is connected to the battery line 
and one is connected to the uh, brake uh, switch when you apply the brake uh, the light starts glowing and uh, here the all uh, the wirings are clipped with this clip and uh, we can easily unmount at the bottom end after doing this uh, the entire uh, rear assembly is detached and then the uh, remaining part uh, just compress and take off the front mud flaps and it easily comes and then going to the fuel tank assembly uh, drain the fuel as much as possible and uh, uh, put it by uh, bike in uh, off position and uh, then uh, take the keys uh, remove the spark plugs if possible and uh, uh, fuel, put the fuel cork in off condition and take the fuel lines and at the top uh, there are two mountings uh, both are of like 10 mm and uh, loosen and take off these uh, two bolts and underneath a rubber bush is there uh, to reduce the vibration and the same is in the front also um, like um, two clips are there that the tank will be rested and mounted and to reduce the vibration uh, the uh, rubber mountings will be mounted which acts as a dampener and after taking these two bolts and washers we can easily uh, lift the back part and we can slide and take the front one and these are the two uh, main rubber bushes and um, underneath uh, some washers were there take that and uh, keep it in a safer place and now coming to the rear end this is the uh, tail light assembly and the indicator assembly which is uh, mounted to the uh, rear mudguard assembly and for this uh, this is the original one and um, the wirings and other things were really rusty and uh, I couldn't even take the bulbs and other things uh, actually there are two types of uh, uh, like uh, rear tail lamps one is like uh, the original one and it is not available in the market right now and another one is the duplicate one there are many differences between the original and the duplicate one and um, like uh, they have reduced the size thickness uh, 10 mm bolt is ready to reduce to 8 mm bolt and likewise uh, they have reduced the cost and uh, duplicate parts wherever possible and uh, uh, it is uh, like uh, very difficult to take the uh, broken bulb from the uh, assembly so I am taking off the entire uh, tail light assembly from the rear for this you need a 10 mm spanner and unmount all the bolts from it then inside it is clearly packed for reducing the vibration and to uh, stop any uh, water leakage and other things but this is a uh, uh, more than 20 years old vehicle so uh, it is in this condition and finally I took all the uh, bulbs and other things wirings from the tail lamp assembly and this is the main bracket which we saw, uh, which I was speaking about uh, in the uh, number plate video I think and uh, this is the bracket at the outside which holds the indicator and the number plate inside it is the reinforcement tube for this all you need uh, is a 10 mm spanner we have to uh, put at both the ends and you have to take off uh, these things and uh, the wiring was going from outside uh, it uh, was like something different to me then I uh, while assembling I made a hole uh, underneath this bracket and uh, it is like uh, hidden from the number plate and uh, the wiring routing was done clearly I will show that in the assembly video and after taking this uh, we have detached the uh, number plate uh, and indicator bracket assembly and the inside part and uh, for this uh, all uh, the bolts and other things uh, are like in small assemblies and what I did is after taking these things I welded with the weld nut uh, at the rear so that you can uh, tighten with uh, a single spanner and I will show it in the upcoming videos and uh, putting back everything in its place and this is the place uh, which where I am going to weld it with a 10 mm weld nut and after assembling mm, moving to the tail lamp assembly and here to take this uh, two screws are there we have to take these things and you can take the a broken bulb from a uh, tail light assembly mm. 
then uh, if you see the original one everything is alloy uh, is plastic and uh, it is plated for reflection and uh, inside it uh, a rubber uh, uh, is given to reduce a vibration and it acts as a packing for the tail light uh, um, and uh, which won't allow the water droplets lo uh, to uh, get inside and these were all the things which are missing in the duplicate parts and it was not uh, neatly packed everything was like uh, cost cutting done for cost cutting and um, after doing this I kept these things aside and went to the indicator assembly this was very rusty and I couldn't even take the uh, things and um, when I bought this uh, I simply went and bought the vehicle but my tools were in uh, um, like cutting machine and other things were in hometown so I just gave these things to the tinkering workshop and uh, I did my work there and after this uh, we can move to rear mud flap assemblies and uh, in this uh, there are three holes uh, in the rear mud car assembly and which are mounted with the mud flapper and for this you need two 10 mm spanner uh, and we have to hold the one and you have to loosen the other and uh, uh, there are three uh, nuts and bolts and uh, they are mounted with washers and you have to completely take off these things and you have to replace with a new one and that's all for this video and we can see in another video like this and uh, thank you